Uganda happened to be at the center of Africa and many neighboring countries have had significant problems and therefore people seeking asylum have run into Uganda from Sudan, from DRC, initially from Rwanda and now from Burundi. And Uganda has had a responsibility of making sure that when they come, they feel at home, they are treated as human beings from the very beginning, and they become part of the community. We regard it as our responsibility. We have included the refugee, um, refugee section in our national development plan. As a, nation, as a country, when we, in, in the planning framework, we include refugee, it means we are looking at the refugee question as a, not only development aid, but how do we plan for the refugees and uh, cause development with them and for them not to be passive, but as participants in the development process, wherever they are um, settled. So that is a very positive thing in Uganda. Well, we have uh, really done a lot of integration, try, try to transform the refugee situation and develop a development agenda that helps the refugees and also uh, helps the local population. So the local population in a way has not only helped refugees but has also benefited from refugee settlements. In fact now government working with the NHCR and World Bank is making arrangements for a program that will help refugees and also help the local communities to improve their living conditions. The idea is whether refugees or hosting communities, we do not want anybody to be left behind. Settlement transformation agenda is looking at the transformation. Is looking at the transformation in the refugee settlements. Is looking at a transformed refugee. Is looking at um, moving from being provided for in terms of um, uh, food and non food items and relief to a tra transforming the. The, the refugee to lead a meaningful life, a life which is a, um, ha, has a future, not to just be confined but have, have hope. Gives the refugee 
the, 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 the feeling of belonging and participating in community life, not as a transitory. So it's not a transitory life. It is it's a life which every, each one participates meaningfully to develop their own communities and to develop themselves. They enjoy the same services, health, education, um, sporting. They, that integration is very positive and therefore they, they are not looked at as the other people, but they are a part of that community. Uganda itself has had its own troubles and many Ugandans have fled and sought asylum to the neighboring countries, Kenya, Tanzania, Sudan, DRC, and to Europe, to America, and therefore many Ugandans have been sensitized about the critical importance of treating people as people, humanely, decently, and in a civil way. So with my team in Oxford, we've embarked on research looking at the economic lives of refugees, trying to rethink refugees as a potential resource rather than this view that they have to be a cost and a burden. And we chose to start our work in Uganda, not because it's representative of refugee hosting countries. It's not. It's exceptional. Uganda has embarked on an experiment in how it treats refugees in what it calls a self-reliant strategy. It gives refugees the right to work and freedom of movement. So it shows the contributions refugees can make if they're given basic economic opportunities.